Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is our last and final episode of this documentary. And uh, just as we promised that leo uh, tutajaribu kuangalia some of the solutions that we can have uh, to decongest the Tikarod yo yo mambo na jamu ni hapo. And uh, before to let iso my resolution, I saw it in order to and uh, to part at us maybe some few words or uh, views from one of the producers. So leo ni kwa hapa na rafiki yangu mwingine so bro unaitwa inaitwa Telvin uh, unatoka wapi aishi Roisambu oh, Roisambu yeah. and uh, Roisambu hiyo tu ama kuna information nyingine unaweza tupatia eh naishi Roisa eh mimi utumia Tikarod mostly eh na nasoma KCA university so naendanga na Tikarod asubuhi na jioni nikitoka shule most of the time so natumia Tikarod Okay so unatumia Tikarod asubuhi na jioni ukienda shule. So unaweza tu tuambia tu wakati unaenda shule asubuhi ukitumia Tikarod kutoka Rio Sambo. Uh, ni nini na experience? Uh, is it like barabara inakuwa smooth ama kuna traffic jam wewe inakuwa affect na we? Actually it's a big challenge. You know sometimes uko na class ya 8, class number 8, unapata traffic imeshika kuanzia hapo hapo TRM apo all sops hadi kwa survey shule ni unapata umechelewa like a whole unaingia class saa tatu saa nne ama una miss class so it's a big challenge to jam ni kubwa sana i really think we need to be helped here okay na jioni ukitoka shule any challenge ama the same jioni is the same story so watu wanatoka job mostly around town so watu tunaenda side za hiyo tika hiyo mbele traffic bado ni kubwa sana iko congested unapata tuna waste a lot of time kwa barabara Okay thank you. So wewe uh, kama Telvin kijana ya KCA unaona ni nini inaweza fanywa to decongest the carrot? Eh hey, hapo sijui <laughs> lakini serikali inafa kutusaidia. Juu tunaumia sana serikali inafa ingilie kati. Tafute engine nje tatusaidia wa decongest hiyo hiyo jam hiyo jam ni mingi sana. Oh. Yeah. So main course umesema wewe haujui. Asijui sasa. Okay so asante thank you for your time. Okay so vile mmesikia uh, from one of the producers so the solutions that we have uh, solutions that we're talk now or maybe before you look at the solution number one let us look at the causes and cause number one to me pata that uh, from the interviews that we had previous uh, motorists how to jaribu kuuliza and uh, number one is that kuna magari mingi Nairobi there are a lot of motor uh, vehicles both vehicles pikipiki ziko mingi sana so this is a great challenge and one of the motorists came clear and said that magari mingi this is imekosiwa na private this is gari personal gari ndogo ndogo ziko mingi sana so these are um, one of the reasons that kuna jam the car road uh, and uh, number two, to, uh, that the roads are also narrow so an expansion inaweza kuwa a very big boost and uh, to the nini hiyo mambo na gari kwa mingi one was suggesting that what if um is in uh, companies or uh, organizations that work on employees or workers when you have magari personal cars what if wame wame leta magari like maybe buses vans or nissans to ferry their employees from home to workplaces and forth back it acquire a very big boost because maybe let's say that a bus has a capacity of 52 carrying 52 passengers so meaning one vehicle will be carrying 52 passengers than our 52 water kikwa na vehicles zao along the road so this it this will isn't the congestion and this one will be a very big boost and concerning the thin roads uh thicker road as you all know it was one of the mega mega projects uh, of our Kenyan government uh, the regime of our former president Mwai Kibaki uh, and it cost uh, almost a total of 31 billion shillings so talking about expansion as per now ni kitu yenye like tunaweza sema it is impossible but yeah it will be very appropriate so we hope that maybe the government in the near future which at jui can do the same can expand the roads and this will isn't the congestion because to me part that congestions are only in the morning and in the evening morning mean, meaning when people are going to work and evening when they are coming back from work so that will be a very big boost so let's just hope that all shall be well and uh, thank you for staying with me
from first episode, second episode, and the third third episode, which is the last. I appreciate. Thank you, guys.